Hello? Is... Is someone there? It's just you. No, I'm all right. I just had a nightmare, that's all. Mm, yes, actually, I find that the terrace is quite a lovely space to sit and relax. It is cold out here, isn't it? I don't mind, though. It's keeping me awake, isn't it? No, I, I don't need your cloak. I'll be fine, I promise. Thank you, though, for your concern. Anyways, what brings you out here? <laughs> I see. So you were just checking up on me. I knew they have you guarding me constantly, but I didn't know you even checked up on me while I was asleep. That is a bit questionable. <laughs> oh, don't give me that face. You know me. I'm really jokey. Yes, of course it was a joke. As if I would ever suspect you of anything stupid like that. You're my guard and most trusted advisor. I have to trust you with my life. If I didn't, well. Anyways, thank you, I suppose. For, you know, checking on me. I suppose I'd just be sitting up here alone in the cold if it wasn't for you. You really saved my life. I'm sorry I shouldn't tease. Perhaps one day you really will save my life. So, how was your day, oh lovely god of mine? Well, well. I suppose our days would be the same, considering we were together for about 90% of it. Ugh. That meeting we had to attend. You know, the first one. You don't remember what it was about? <laughs> Neither do I, if I'm being honest. There's so many every day that I must attend, because I'll be queen one day. I don't blame you. You're quite boring, actually. Uh, but that, that one duchess. I don't quite remember her name, but she was wearing this red dress. Do you remember which one I'm talking about? It was very eye-catching. What I wouldn't do for a red dress like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... It's a minor detail that's not very important, is it? You know that... Out of all the things that I hate about being a princess, I do admire my dresses. It's stupid, I know. There are more important things to be worrying myself with. It's quite nice out here, don't you think? I mean, not the weather, it is quite cold. But the peace and the quiet. Everyone in the town below is asleep. And all you can hear are the sounds of nature. I do love those sounds. Yes, I come out here often. It's very peaceful. And, of course, very safe up here on the terrace. 
Those lovely nature sounds are all well and good, of course, until they come to bite your head off. So, I do enjoy my time up here on the terrace, where it's safe and sound. But I can also observe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you're awfully quiet. Did you have something on your mind? No? I see. You were just staring at me, that's all. I wondered if perhaps... Never mind. I trust you. If you say it's nothing, then it's nothing. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Did you eat dinner? Ah, uh, you're not serious. I've known you for practically my entire life, and you still, for some reason, think that you can get a lie past me. I mean, it's actually quite funny. Why didn't you eat? I know you were making sure that I ate, but I told you to grab something for yourself. Don't look at me like that. I know you need food. Watching me all day and making sure I don't get into trouble. That's enough to wear anyone out. So don't look at me and tell me that you don't need food after a long day with me. I've never really been able to understand why you're like this. This? Like this? Why are you like this? You always put my needs before yours, and I understand that it's your job. But we were friends before we were whatever it is that we are now. We used to run around that very courtyard down there together and chase some stupid ball. I know you better than I know myself. And for some reason, you still put me up on this pedestal like everyone else. I'm human too, I'm just some stupid girl. Even if I have that title on my head, you know this. I just... I worry about you. And... I want you to take as... much care of yourself as you do me. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm not. I just, I really do care about you, and I worry about you, and I just always want to make sure that you're safe and well taken care of. You don't make it easy, you know, and I'm sure neither do I, but you make it especially hard. <sighs> what ever am I going to do with you? Goodness, you're even tired now, aren't you? But you're out here in the cold with me because I couldn't sleep. I'm not mad at you, I'm not. You're really something else. Come on now, uppy uppy. Don't mock me, get up. Come now. What do you mean, where are we going? We aren't going anywhere. You, however, are gonna go and get some rest. Do I make myself clear?
Don't laugh at me. And you're going to sleep in tomorrow and get all the rest that you deserve. I'll have my servants fetch you a nice breakfast in the morning too. Now go. Thank you.